Pershing 7X is part of the new X generation. Look at it from above, you can see how the roof of the deck house has been transformed into a veil that cascades along the sides and slides towards the stern. It seems as if an Italian tailor has designed it, but really it is one of the masterpieces of Fulvio de Simone studio. Carbon, lightened aluminium and furniture are part of the elements that make this a unique boat. It is not just simply a boat, it is a piece of art. The curved, the rounded and sometimes surfaces reflect the light in order to capture our attention. The addition of dark friezes, as on the windows, underlines certain aesthetic details. Fuel efficiency and surface propellers allow us to navigate at high cruising speeds, with lower fuel consumption per mile than other boats. Also, they allow us to reach a maximum speed of 50 knots. In the engine room, the systems are arranged with order and precision in the best possible position. This to facilitate supervision and maintenance. The maximum beam of the Pershing 7X is of 5.35 meters, which is the largest in its category. The stern platform is one and a half meters long. The garage door does not interact with the sun deck, however. It does lift part of the swimming platform, uncovering the launching and hauling system of the Williams Jet Tender 345. Notice where they have placed the air intake vents in the engine room. This to prevent the water splashes from the trail to get inside. The cockpit cover is wide and under it the dining area can be converted into a sofa bed. Also, in this area there is the entrance to the crew quarter. On the sides, there is a sink, the barbecue and the ice maker. The headrest of the sun deck also serves as a backrest for the sofa. Above it, an awning can be stretched out to extend the protection offered by the roof. At the bow, the relaxation area has been doubled by adding two chaise lounges, with folding headrests onto the usual mat. Under the sun deck, a huge storage compartment. Pershing was the first to introduce on series models a solution that allows to combine interior and exterior with a hideaway sliding aft door. The door, the window and all their structures disappear with a single click. There are two rooftop windows, one fixed while the other is openable. The 
crystal windshield is made of one single piece, this to avoid the upright in the centre and therefore have maximum visibility. In the lounge, the minimum height is 2 metres. Here you can find total comfort thanks to this long sofa and the extendable table for 8 people. Along the starboard side, the piece of furniture adjusts its width to make the passway comfortable and, at the same time, to offer the maximum stowage volume. It also contains a 49-inch TV. If you lie down over here on the chaise lounge, you can be cuddled by the sea breeze. Below deck you have two layouts, one with three cabins and a kitchen, or two cabins, a kitchen and a living room. In the master cabin the height is 2 metres. The length of the mattress is 2 metres and the width 180 centimetres. The TV is 65 inches. The windows are huge and even their opening parts are larger than usual. The decor erases all stereotypes. The diagonal lines make us discover a new way of furnishing. Although always respecting nautical needs, such as the absence of sharp edges and the need to have lots of space to place our closet. The vanity, the furniture under the windows, a full-height closet and a locker under the mattress complete the decor. For guests, a forward cabin with a double berth and a private bathroom. Along the side there is another guest cabin with two beds and its own bathroom, or in its place, a living area with a toilet room. The displays show and control all the machinery of the yacht through the Naviop Simrad integrated system. Both displays are 19 inch screens. The automatic system constantly controls the trim of the surface propulsions and the position of the interceptors, this to obtain the best trimming of the hull and the maximum energy efficiency. But if you prefer, you can control everything manually. The electro-hydraulic steer-by-wire rudder automatically controls the direction and returns to the centre after each turn, this way facilitating the pilot's job. In manoeuvring and cruising, the rudder is flexible, but increasing the speed, its sternness increases for maximum safety. For manoeuvres, the centre joystick works in a very simple and very effective way. It is also able to compensate those unwanted movements caused by the wind. It controls the propulsions and the two manoeuvring propellers, one at the bow and the other at the stern. It also works as an electronic anchor and allows you to pilot the boat at cruising speeds, acting as a tiller and as an accelerator. This is all made possible thanks to the technologies developed by the Ferretti Group Engineering Department and Zenta. Pershing 7X is gorgeous inside and out. It is very fast and very sporty, not only thanks to its powerful engines and the efficiency of surface transmissions, but also and above all because it is built with the best materials and the best technologies.